Um, what's happening with your business? Well, we've just kind of had it with, with what's happening in Seattle with our euphemistically termed by the city council and home neighbors. Um, I think our worst one was when we had a motorhome back down our truck ramp and ditch their septic into our catch basin and we got no response from the city, county, or state for hazardous waste dumping um, because it's in a catch basin. The catch basin pumping company said they couldn't take it because of the sewage and the sewage pumping company said they couldn't take it because it was in a catch basin. So my employees and I put on basically rubber suits and gas masks and a five gallon container of Clorox and a pressure jet and we had to clean it ourselves. And that was just some random person's sewage that they dumped in your drain? Yeah, just like some random motorhome, you know. And we've got security cameras. We've got, we've had a truck stolen out of our locked lot here on the side. The city of Linwood called us the day after the truck was taken to let us know they had our truck. And it took the city of Seattle Police Department almost two weeks to let us know that our truck had been found. What, I mean, what's pushing you out from this location? Uh, just the expense of being in business in Seattle. Our clients are nervous coming down here to drop off. My, my employees don't want to be here early in the morning after dark or weekends when we're here alone. Uh, every Monday morning when we come in, there's graffiti and needles and the mark of our lovely burning mattress that we had last Monday. And we're just tired. We're tired of fighting with it. So it's, it's time to relocate and make other plans. What does the city need to do in your mind? It's, that's a really difficult question because there are people who are legitimately unhomed that do need services that want to be placed in a better situation. But what we see down here, at least in, in my perspective, is that we see a lot of people that don't want to abide by rules to go into a shelter or get help or they're just kind of out here and the more money the city spends on resources to help these people it attracts more homeless people because then they want to use those resources too now my daughter lives in North Bend and she's seen people down here under the highway you know panhandling gone home to North Bend and found them up in North Bend because a lot of times they will just simply give them a bus ticket to get out of town and then they come back. Wow. Um, how, what happens if nothing changes in the future? More businesses like you? I think a lot of businesses are going to leave before it gets better. You know, it's, it's cyclical. It is cyclical. I mean, back in the 70s, we were all joking about the last person out turn <laughs> off the lights. But, you know, it was different. There, somehow it was just different. And we've been able to struggle through a lot of things. But this last one is just, it's unremitting and constant. And it's too much. It's just too much. It's too much. I mean... I just don't know what to say. It's a tough one. You're going to be sad to leave this place? Oh, absolutely. How do you not have, you know, a fifth generation business with second generation employees and not feel distraught about leaving? But, you know, it's sometimes things have a, a life cycle and it's time to do something else.